The KFW information bus arrives in the northern German city of Schwerin. Every day the bus takes Stefan Gärtner and his fellow consultant to another city. The traveling part is stressful, but it makes a change. If potential beneficiaries of the government's development program won't come to the bank, say KFW representatives, then they'll go to them. The state-owned development bank has 40 billion euros at its disposal from the stimulus package made available to companies pushed to the brink. Stefan Gärtner talks to a building contractor about the business loan scheme. Her company is in desperate need of a cash injection. Small firms have difficulty getting support from banks. There's been no regional government support for the building sector for years. The banks are now also in trouble. And when you have no security, you end up taking desperate measures in order to avoid bankruptcy and unemployment, etc. The advice on offer is only the first step, however. Just like with any other loan, potential recipients have to submit the actual application via their local bank. Stefan Gärtner is on his way to discuss special loans with local businessmen. He and representatives from local business associations have their work cut out. Few managers are aware of the options available to them. And smaller firms are now particularly reticent when it comes to state aid. So far, the bank has managed to lend out only 7.1 billion of the 40 billion euros at its disposal. Although a lot of firms in this region have also been hard hit by the global economic crisis. Suppliers that do business outside the region began noticing changes at the end of last year. Some have already introduced reduced working hours. Those that depend on local consumer spending may not have been directly affected yet, but the restaurant and tourism sectors have been. Tourism is crucial to the region. Its lakeland setting and proximity to the Baltic Sea coast have made Schwerin a classic tourist magnet. But it's been an unusually slow summer so far. Startup businesses can also apply for support from the KFW. Stefan Gärtner provides some useful tips to a group of prospective new businessmen. So a sound concept, a sound business plan, a sound explanation and a confident attitude at the bank are decisive. Many locals had never heard of the bank before. Part of Stefan Gärtner's job is to boost awareness about the KFW bank. And how does he feel about his new mobile office? The best place to communicate with customers is the market square. For customers, it's a more open atmosphere than coming to see us at the bank. Another eight hours of open-air banking come to an end. But this publicity tour is in itself costing a pretty penny, 850,000 euros in all. The bank bus will keep on rolling until the middle of July.